Hi, everybody. My name is Brian Donaghy, and I'm a member of the PMCA Education Committee. And uh, we decided that now is as good a time to introduce you to uh, some of those important players on the PMCA. And so we're, we're going to start today with, with our friend Rose. And Rose, it is, it's like Madonna or, or, or Neymar. Like you go by one name, like you're Rose. There aren't that many Roses out there in, in this age group anyway. It's coming back. But anyway, we're talking with Rose Potts today. Um, Rose, um, and I'm going to let you do kind of your own introduction a little bit. So you obviously, you work with Walmart Chocolate, but you're here today because because you're part of an important part of the PMCA. And um, your title these days is? I have just transitioned from president to chairman of the board. So part of the PMCA progression. Um, and so that's that was just happened, I guess, in July. What does the chairman of the board do? So the chairperson of the board leads, um, leads, you know, actually leads the board, the board member meetings, and um, as far as the governance of, of the PMCA, and, um, you know, guides and directs the direction that we're going. And by the time you've, you've made it to chairman of the board, you've been vice president for a couple of years, you've been president for a couple of years, so you're really just sort of um, figuring out the players and how things work. So um, you get to, you know, work with everyone. <laughs> the elder statesman, such as it were. <laughs> what are you doing? Are you helping to guide the, the future of the organization? You know, yeah, working with yeah, the team, for, that kind of stuff. Sure, I mean, um, we just had a um, long range uh, planning um, summit, if you want to call it that, in November, which was the board, it was also committee members, but yeah, I mean, as far as where are we going, and you know, as far as organizations in general, it's, it's you know, things are a little different, and we thought things were a little different back in November, and guess what, they're a lot different now, so. <laughs> <laughs> the understatement of this conversation. <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's guiding, and, 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 you know, trying to, um, you know, stay relevant and, and do and serve our membership. I mean, wh why would people be a member of PMCA? I mean, it's it's the education, of course, but it's also the networking has been, you know, time and again, what people say that they really are involved in PMCA for. And, and so we, you know, we constantly had to figure out um, ways to give people the opportunity to network. And now, you know, it has to be virtually. And, you know, what, what does that look like? And um, so, you know, we have um, added a, a regional committee in this past year. So that's expanded. So we have a West Coast regional committee to, um, to, to bring in some engagement from the West Coast. Cause you know, as you know, PMCA is an international organization. It's not um, a local uh, Pennsylvania organization, although that's how it initially started. It's, it's really international. So we wanna make sure we have that representation from you know, the, dem the different demographics as far as you know, physically and also um, PMC has done a really good job with their student program to, you know, bring in, you know, recent graduates or, or people who are going to be graduating soon and, and show them how confectionery, um, how they can use their science degrees in confectionaries and confectionery and, you know, how it's, it's fun. I mean, we don't just make widgets we make stuff that makes people excited, right? <laughs> PMCA for a lot of people, you know, was this one, one off event in the spring, right? That everybody got together in Lancaster and it was, you, you explained to me, it was the only opportunity that you had for going out and meeting other people in the industry when you started with the PMCA. Right. Yeah, but, I mean, PMCA, um, you know, when I first started was, I mean, really it was something, and we still do, we still do, but I mean, we looked forward to the actual conference all year because it was really the the networking opportunity. I mean, think of it before we had email and all this stuff. We you didn't get to necessarily work and network with as many people in your day to day. So this was this was a big deal. I know that um, just talking to different people that present in the industry, I always tell them I'm like, you can present at PMCA. It's it's a high quality program. You can present anywhere. So. <laughs> A room full of a lot of really, really smart people. Yeah. That was my first, like, I walked, I walked in the room the first time, like, I don't know, 10 years ago, and just felt really, really not bright. 
you, you always know that there's someone in the audience who, who can, um, you know, has more insight, maybe even to what you have, which is, which is good. I mean, it's good to learn. The world is different and it's good to learn. I'm like both of those. You know, know. I got a grip. Yeah. Right. Write that down. <laughs> Write that good down. Good to <laughs> learn. But I, I mean, but that's really what, I mean, I'm joking about that, but I mean, that's really what the PMC is about now, right? Is it, it, yeah. It's about the opportunity to connect and to, to grow and to learn. Did I get those right? I think learn, I did. connect, grow, very good, yes. Sorry, I had them out of order. You are definitely an industry leader, you know, I mean, evident from, from you know, some of the awards that are on here, you know, the, the PMCA gave you the hand Stressler in 2010, the P AACT gave you Stroud Jordan in 2019, all about your continued commitment to confectionery in North America, right? I mean, you're the real deal. Is that fair? Well, and now, now I'm going to make you blush. Am I going to make you blush, Rose? Like, am I? We had a, um, I, you know, when I first came into the industry, it was, it was very daunting. I mean, with, like you said, even, even today, when we walk into the MCA, you're like, oh, there's always someone there who knows more. But I mean, really, when you first come in, it's, it's hard not to be a little intimidated because, you know, if I if I look at the people who were in the room at the first, you know, PMCA that actually that I attended at, at F and M, um, you know, the people in the room were the ones who 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 actually you know wrote the book, you know, who wrote the books that we now use, and um, so, you know, it was it was quite a learning curve, and you know, the the complexion of the PMCA has certainly changed over the years. Um, I would say the first PMCA, there might have been six women, including the secretary of the PMCA, Marie Kelso. <laughs> so um, it was, you know, it was it was daunting. But um, these people, you know, were, were very, all very kind, all very willing to share, which is the same spirit today where people are, you know, willing to share what they know. And um, I think that's really the the spirit of PMCA is actually the you know the camaraderie, which is which is good. I think the last time we saw each other was at a was at a at the cannabis symposium out in California somewhere. There, there were there were definitely a lot of people sharing knowledge that probably wasn't really familiar with you or myself, right? I mean, there, there yeah, was stuff was, there that was just like. Yeah, I was. I, I will tell you that was that was a great. Um, I think that was a really a great moment for PMCA. Um, and I think sort of embodies the spirit of PMCA where, you know, confectionery really is kind of a pretty traditional industry in a way. But, um, you know, there was some, some forethought there. There was a lot of debate, as you can imagine. And, um, you know, PMCA took the chance and since you know PMC is really based on science and information, um, we did the uh, the cannabis uh, symposium was based on what's the science and the information. And right. um, you know I, I would be lying if I didn't say there was a little bit of trepidation when I had no idea what to expect. And it was so um, I learned so much information in science. It was it was amazing. It, it really was amazing. There is that kind of gray area where I think there's some, some concerns about it. But I think, you know, that, that conference sort of, you're right, just broke down straight, like time, date, and temperature. We're not, we're not, we're not, other people have made decisions about, about legality and other people have made decisions right. about just, just morality, facts, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> right. Just, just the facts, yeah. <laughs> right. And I, and I think that was, for me, that conference or that symposium was an opportunity to really look at it that way. And you're right. And I walked out of that room with my head sort of, right, yeah. with, with all this, this new stuff. And I took home, you know, 10% of it. So what are some of the other trends that are going on then confectionally? Is that a word? Now I'm making up words. This is best. Like that, <laughs> I like confectionally. It. I like it. I mean. Um, well, I mean, so COVID has obviously been a, a bit of being big impact. Um, people wanted to feel good. And so, you know, confections and snacks were obviously a very big part, still are a very big part of that. You know, I think, I think people are, have taken, have had some time to take stock of how they feel about their health. And so again, sort of the, um, you know, the sensible indulgence, if you will, um, 
is, is going to continue. So that's not me eating the whole bag of Haribo gummy bears. <laughs> Maybe just a couple. <laughs> you know, we're, um, the industry itself in Blum, of course, they're always looking at, you know, the new things that are out there to keep on top of it. So people have, so people have choices. You know, we want, to, we want to be educated and educate our customers so that they can have a lot of choices. How do you stay on the front of that? Like personally, like how do you, what, like what are some tools that you use, like both at work and with the PMCA and to, to well, I, you know, keep doing that? There's, there's almost too much now, right? <laughs> I mean, it was almost easier, I think, when there was less. Um, so, you know, of course, you know, reading, you know, reading um, the, the journals that are out there, whether they be online or in your hand, I kind of still prefer it in my hand. But, um, you know, when there's like the, the, the briefs we get almost every day, you know, we get smart briefs and, you know, the different kind of things that come out. Um, and just, you know, suppliers. I mean, people can talk to their suppliers because that's their, that's their bread and butter, right? So whatever their specialty is, to keep you up to date on that. It's, it's tough because there's also the regulations around things. So, you know, new right. things come out, but then it depends on um, what a customer or consumer's thought is around sourcing certain products. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think it, indicative, like sort of this whole conversation about, you know, where do we find ideas and, and what are the new ideas? I mean, if you look at the growth of something like the All Natural Products Expo, right, that, that I remember going to when it was, barely in a church basement. Yeah. So it's a little bigger than that, but you know what I mean? I mean, and, and now, you know, that show in Anaheim is, is one of the biggest shows in North America. And as shows are getting smaller, you know, it's growing, um, you know, as is the cannabis show, if we want to come full circle. I mean, I think those are opportunities where we see people are looking for things and the consumers looking for things as well. It's not just, it's not you as the, the supplier or you as the, you know, or me as a, as a user to like create things for, for customers, if they don't the customers want look, the, the customer yeah. wants this stuff, right? I mean, the yeah. customer is like on board about, about that. And, and it, it's, you know, I think looking at the PMCA and looking at your role at Plumber and those types of things, it, it's our responsibilities to try to find ways to make it work. Right. And then and that's back to the, the, who's the smartest guy in the room conversation. Right. I mean, that, that you know, the PMCA driving, you know, education and, and taking, helping to convince some of those really super smart kids that we're talking about that are coming out of school. They're like, no, confection's cool. Yeah. You know, you don't, Probably you know. Power with us, yeah. <laughs> right. Come to the dark side. Yeah. No, I, I mean. Yeah. You know, because there's lots of opportunities to do other things. And, but you're right. Confection is, confection's cool. Like, you know sweeter than most <laughs> yeah. i'm not going to write that one down that, that one was kind of lame actually uh, so we're in that business i mean we're in that comfort business like what you've got to have an early memory like you've got to have a memory of like this is the first thing that like got me to think that chocolate was what i wanted to do even if you didn't know at the time that it was what it was well i didn't know necessarily knew that i knew it was chocolate but <clears throat> i used to <laughs> I used to do experiments with food at home, like crazy recipes, if you will, that involve like Jello and M and M's, and that doesn't work very well. By the way. <laughs> well. Um, and um, so I, I think that's it. I mean, I'm just interested in, you know, how the thing, different things you could do with food. I mean, you know, in my family, we had a heritage of food. I mean, food is very important, but you know, food was love. We are lucky people to be spending time around candy and confection and, and really generous people with time and, and knowledge and, and all that stuff. I mean, you spending time with me today, I, I, full disclosure is I love spending time with you because every time I get the opportunity to talk to you, I walk away with, with some little nugget of information that I didn't have when we started the conversation. And, and you were instrumental in me being able to be where I am today because oh, you in, in in that meeting I'm gonna cry if you're not gonna cry I'm gonna cry no in that meeting where I walked in and and I can be a little self-defeating and but I was really trying to prove something to the people that I worked for and 
and you had a tremendous amount of patience and you had a tremendous amount of kindness and you, you explained things to me and you didn't come out right and say, Hey, you're talking out of the side of your mouth, which I <laughs> entirely wasn't, but, but you know what I mean? And, and, and you allowed me to learn about chocolate making, you know, I mean, both on the floor of the plant and both in, in concept and about how we did sensory. And, and I, without, without that, I don't think I get where I am today. You know, so I'm grateful well, that's for very that. Kind. I mean, it, that. That's very kind. The, the better we get as an industry and the more we know as an industry, the better we get as an industry and the more we know. Right. It helps right. everyone. Out. And I, I, I think that's also why, um, you know, I, I think everyone in our industry gladly, anyone that's new to it, gladly reaches out to them because, you know, we, we don't want people to, to struggle. Um, if something right. you've already been through it and, you know, if, if some, something, um, negatively impacts, you know, one company, it really impacts all of us. So, right. you know, we, we want to, you know, have a safe product and enjoyable product and, um, you know, bring the joy that it's supposed to. What we're talking about is showing that I know that I can pick up the phone and call you and say, I need help. And your, your first question isn't gonna be, are you using blubber chocolate with that project? <laughs> right? Your first question is gonna be, okay, great, let's, let's, let's nail this down. Um, and, and I think that's not just true for you, I think that's true for pretty much anybody that I talk to in the PMCA. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, I, I think, I, I, I do think we've learned so many things from each other. I really, I really cherish you know, everyone who's, you know, in the PMCA, but who, you know, has attended um, the conference or, you know, a short course or whatever. I think it's really, I think what one of the things that PMCA does is, you know, we're, we're all in our companies and we're, we're learning and we're functioning, but it sort of keeps our minds open as to, um, you know, more broader issues that are out there, um, different ways to do things. Um, just, just keeping us really, you know, more well-rounded, you might say. Right. Favorite PMCA memory? Oh, my favorite PMCA memories, I'm ashamed to say, are probably in the Four Bay Lounge at, uh, at Hershey Lodge. Um, probably, you know, Tuesday evening after the, after the banquet, um, just getting to be with especially in the early days getting to be with, you know, all these owners of the companies would come and, you know, it was, it was a very rare opportunity, um, especially as a newer person in the industry, um, you know, just to be around these, like I said, these industry icons of people who actually, you know, wrote some of the books that we use now. You're an author too. Well, um, I, I've been a contributing author, let's put it that way. So, contributed to, um, it, that was an interesting story. It's Scholastic Books Call. And, you know, I got this, again, this was before there was so many emails. So people actually called you and just call out of the blue. And it was like, oh, this is so-and-so from Scholastic Books. I'm like, oh my God, did my son not return a book and the actual company called me? But no, <laughs> <laughs> they wanted to do a beans to chocolate. So I still didn't really think it was a real thing, but somebody it showed up from New York and, you know, took them through the plan and tried to explain the chocolate process in, you know, a couple of words per page. You know, month, I didn't think much of it. And then months later, they sent me a book and they, um, they actually, they wanted, they're like, oh, we want to take a picture of you tasting chocolate. I'm like, no, I don't think so. They're like, <laughs> I, I said, um, they're like, well, how about a kid? I'm like, oh, I have a kid. So I pulled my kid out of school for a few hours. And like I said, I didn't even think about this. And then they sent me the book and that's my kid on the cover. <laughs> of course, he is now, uh, you know, 27, 28 <laughs> years old. <laughs> All right. So. You're, you, you, you've had a long day at the plant, right? You're driving home. Like you realize the, 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 you got to put gas in the car. So you stop, you put gas in the car, you go in to pay for it. You decide you're going to get a bottle of water. So you walk to get a bottle of water and you're headed to the register and you end up in 
the mass market candy and confection aisle. You can buy one item. What do you buy? Oh, that's that's a hard one. And you've you've heard this before. That's like asking someone to choose their favorite child or pizza. So like I really like pizza, but I like them you all. can get a slice. You can get a slice of pizza after okay. you choose. You can get the <laughs> slice of pizza from the rotating oven on the counter. No, probably but not. You gotta pick. You gotta pick one item. You only get one. I'm sorry. I don't know. I, I'm pretty. I, you know, I, I don't know. I think all the different uh, stuff that's out there serves a purpose. It depends on what kind of mood you're in. I mean. Um, Rose, you're making this question really, really hard. I know, I'm sorry. Easy. They just they like they blurt out Snickers. You know, or okay, which, I'm gonna say heat bar. Old school. Yeah, obscure almost. Yeah, coffee is where it's at for me, really. So I want to say thank you very much for being the first victim of this project that we're working on for the PMCA. That's being supported by obviously you and the board, and then um, the education committee and the the technology committee, and you know, this I know there's been a lot of people that have been involved in this, and thanks to all those people. But also thank you to you and for putting up with me for the last hour. Well, you know, thank, thank you, Brian. My this craziness. Was, this was easy peasy and um, almost forgot we were doing an interview. So there you go. I guess we're going to, the goal was we're going to talk to the entire board. Great. And then we're going to start talking to some, some like cool people in the industry. So I'm going to need to call you to get some of those names about people that you think we should talk to. We'll do. We'll do. Thanks. Like, thanks a bunch. Bye. Bye, everybody. Thank you.